Haha, <laughs> it's the second time in a row, second day in a row, I guess, we're making videos talking about Sidney Crosby. This time, we're not comparing any player to the great 87 himself. We're going over some comments he had to make over a player that you're probably not familiar with. Now, I know we have a lot of Blue Jackets fans tuning into this video, so hello, how are you doing if you're over there in Columbus, Ohio, checking out this audio show? But I wanted to introduce the rest of the audience here to one Justin Danforth on the Blue Jackets, because this guy's overall story is something that I think needs to be written down and documented over here. So, who is Justin Danforth, number 17 on the Columbus Blue Jackets, signed for this season making $750,000, and signed until the end of 2024, where he's going to be making nine hundred grand apiece? These are the first two NHL contracts that Danforth has ever signed, and it's kind of funny to see where he came from because he's 29 years old. Yeah, imagine getting your very first NHL contract at 28, 29 years old. That's incredible. He's 5'9", 181, a right-handed forward who plays on the right wing and on center, so this guy is kind of... An interesting profile, to say the least. Just breaking into the NHL, he's 5'9", he's 29 years old. This guy is all over the place when it comes to his overall profile. And it gets even crazier when you take a look at his path. Because he's 29, he was eligible to be drafted a long time ago, like a decade ago. And a decade ago, Justin Danforth was playing for the Coburg Cougars in the OJHL, so Junior A Hockey in Ontario. He was a pretty good point producer over there, but, you know, it was 2010, 2011, 2012, he was only 5'9". There wasn't really enough meat on the bone for him to get drafted, especially as a bare point-per-game player in the Junior A Ontario scene. He then took his talents over to Sacred Heart University in the NCAA, where, to be fair, he actually did produce pretty well. He was a 32-point player in 37 games as a senior, 41 points in 36 games as a junior over there. But the problem is, Sacred Heart University and the Pioneers, they play in the Atlantic Hockey Division in the NCAA. This is not the Big Ten, this is not Hockey East, this is not the NCHC, this is not even the ECAC. This is one of the worst NCAA divisions because you're playing off against Bentley, Holy Cross, Mercyhurst, Niagara, RIT. I get it, these are good schools, but... You're not playing against the University of Michigan, you're not playing against Notre Dame, you're not playing against Boston College or Boston University. So for where Danforth was playing, he was doing well against the competition, but you could argue that there wasn't enough meat in the bone still for Danforth to project to the NHL level. Eventually, wrapping up his season in Sacred Heart as a senior, he played with the Reading Royals in the ECHL, he was a point per game over there, and then he got moved around to a few AHL teams for that season and then the next season too. 2017-2018 was Danforth's first full year as a pro hockey player. He spent most of the season in the ECHL Cincinnati Cyclones, where he was over a point per game. Again, he's still 5'9", but at this point, the guy's 24 years old, he has just broken onto the pro scene after spending all this time in the NCAA, and he decides to take his talents overseas to play the next few seasons. Suiting up for Luko two years in a row in the Finnish Liga, he was one of the top point producers over there, getting 52 points in 59 games the first season, and then 60 points in 56 games the second season. This is where he started to rack up a whole bunch of awards. In 2020, he made the Liga All-Star team. He was the best player of the regular season, and he got the Golden Helmet Award. Not to mention the fact that he had the most points in the entire Liga with his 60-point marker. This is where he started to put himself on the map, and he got himself a KHL contract because of it. Playing for Vityas Podolsk, he had himself 55 points in 58 games last season. So, as a 27-28 year old, he's in the midst of his prime, he makes Team Canada at the World Championships getting a goal in 9 games played, and then he signs with the Blue Jackets. They signed him, as we said at the beginning, to a one-year contract worth $750,000, and he gets an opportunity to play both in Cleveland and in Columbus. He has five points in eight games with the Cleveland Monsters, he has 11 points in 36 games with the regular Blue Jackets team, but it's not just the points that you want to go out there and 
talk about when it comes to Danforth and how he plays. He's been playing more in a bottom tier role, he's not really being given the Patrick Line a spotlight, as you might expect for a top free agent coming over from Europe. But if you go over to the recent article published by Jeff Sabota on the Blue Jackets website, Svo notes, Danforth finishing debut season strong for the Blue Jackets, the NHL rookie has earned high praise throughout his initial NHL campaign. You can see some of the praises that Danforth has got even though his point production is not the same as some of the other rookies. You know, he's no Zegras, he's no Raymond, he's no Cider, but still, there is a very good profile to look at right here. And no, he is not eligible for the Calder. He's 29 years old. There is an age cutoff. Michael Bunting is barely eligible for the Calder, as we have said, by the hairs of his chinny-chin-chin. Chin. He is able to be nominated for that award, but it's very close. Take a look at what CBJ associate head coach Pascal Vincent said. I'll tell you a little story. This is from earlier in the season. We play Pittsburgh, and after the game, I see Sidney Crosby. I coached Crosby with Team Canada, so I've known him for a long time. He stops by, and we have a little chat. How are you doing? How's the family? A regular chat. And then he says this. That Danforth guy. Who is he? That's coming from Sidney Crosby. He said, he's a young guy, Danforth. I said, he's not so young, he's 29 years old actually, but he's a good player for us. He's on the puck, he works hard, he can shoot the puck. Crosby said, yeah, I was looking at that Danforth guy, and he's hard to play against. To me, that tells you everything you need to know about Danforth. And imagine how that must feel, to be playing your entire career outside of the NHL spotlight. You're in Junior A hockey in Ontario. You're in one of the weaker NCAA divisions. You're playing in the ECHL, bouncing up with limited AHL action. You go over to Europe. You're in the Liga for a little bit. You're in the KHL. You're one of the better players over there. And then you come over to the NHL, breaking in as a 29-year-old. And all of a sudden, Sid the Kid, with the veteran status badge attached to his heart, is giving you compliments. Here are some extended comments made by other people in the Blue Jackets organization. It's such a great story, I'm telling you, Brad Larson said. You're never too old to learn something new, and he's done it the right way. He's done everything he can to get himself relevant and in the lineup. Now I see him every day. I told him I need to see him every day. And he's earning my trust. He's on a checking line roll, but he's starting to score now. He's starting to see some of the polish that he has. It's such a great story because so many guys either are stubborn and don't want to change, or don't think they can change. He's done it. Good for him. He earned himself a contract, and I'm thrilled to see this guy has played for us. Every night he competes, he comes. I notice him every night, and I love that. The rest of the article talks about how he scored a few goals recently, many of his goals have come from in front of the net. He's shown that even though he is 5'9", he's very willing to go into the dirty areas, but there's clearly some skill to his game as well, as he has good hands, he might be the fastest player on the team, and he isn't afraid to mix it up a little. And this is kind of the mixed bag that is Justin Danforth. He's been one of the more under-the-radar guys, but he's been one of the more impactful guys, even though he is only 5'9", making his NHL debut as a 29-year-old. One reason he feels like he's starting to fill up the net, it's the comfort that he's gained, as Danforth said it traditionally takes him a while to get used to a league before he is able to take off. And with a big finish to the year, it feels like he could be a big part of the Blue Jackets' plans going forward. I think for me that's huge, he said, of setting in at the NHL level. When you go play in a different league, it takes a while to transition. I think this league has taken me the longest, and I've played in a lot of different leagues. It took me 10 to 15 games in Finland. This has been an interesting season, and I've already learned a lot in these 35 games that I have played. So for Justin Danforth, one of the more interesting rookies to actually suit up in the NHL, a rookie who is technically a rookie, but who is not eligible for the Calder because he's way too old, this is the ultimate redemption story you love to see. He came from nowhere as a small, skilled, speedy forward, and now he's fitting in with a Blue Jackets squad in a bottom six role, being assigned to do things that he probably wasn't used to in other leagues. But he's gone out there and fulfilled that role tremendously to the point where Sidney Crosby, of all people, is like, yeah, that's a good player right there. Talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about Justin Danforth and the profile he possesses. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishraj Rolls 9 and 
Bye.